Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss what is the use of partition in shell and tube heat exchanger and what is meant by 1 1 shell and tube heat exchanger 1 2 shell and tube heat exchanger and 2 4 shell and tube heat exchanger. So let's see what are the use of shell side and tube side passes. So in the shell side or tube side of the shell and tube heat exchanger with the help of passes we can change the direction of flow in the shell and tubes. The pass is also called as partition. So passes are generally used to obtain higher velocities and longer paths for fluid to travel without increasing the length of the exchanger. That leads to high heat transfer rates because due to this partition or passes shell and tube side fluid gets more time inside the exchanger to exchange heat. Hence the multipass construction decreases the cross section of the fluid path that increases the fluid velocity due to which the heat transfer coefficients also increases. But these have certain disadvantages such as due to partition the construction of heat exchangers becomes complicated and also creates high friction losses. Then passes on the tube side are formed by partitions placed in the shell cover and channels. So when we use a single pass partition on the tube side, the tube side fluid flows twice through the heat exchanger. Hence the pass partition divides the tubes equally into two sections. The passes on the tube side are 1, 2, 4, 6 up to 12. And the passes on the shell side are single pass, two pass and a single split pass. So based on the number of passes provided on the tube side as well as on the shell side, the shell and tube heat exchanges are referred as 1 1 shell and tube heat exchanges, 1 2 shell and tube heat exchanges, 2 4 shell and tube heat exchanges. So let's see what is meant by 1 to 1 shell and tube heat exchanger. It is also called as shell and tube heat exchanger. The first number that is 1 stands for shell side pass. And the second number that is 1 stands for a tube side pass. Hence in 1 1 shell and tube heat exchanger. The shell side fluid and tube side fluid flow once through the exchanger as there is no partition. Now let's what is meant by 1 2 shell and tube heat exchanger. As we know. The first number that is 1 stands for a shell side pass. And the second number that is 2 stands for a tube side pass. So in 1 2 shell and tube heat exchanger. The shell side fluid flows once through the exchanger as there is no partition. And the tube side fluid flows twice through the exchanger due to one tube side partition. Now let's see. What is a 2-4 shell and tube heat exchanger? So in 2-4 shell and tube heat exchanger, the shell side fluid flows twice through the exchanger due to one shell side partition. And the tube side fluid flows four times through the exchanger due to two tube side partition. That's all about shell and tube heat exchanger. So keep watching. In the next video we will discuss another topic. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.